we don't often hear about drug investigations at McCarran Airport. It's pretty secretive business. But there's an increase in drugs coming through, and it's keeping law enforcement pretty busy. The I team's Vanessa Murphy has the story. We repeatedly requested to interview the director of aviation here at the airport. She refused and would only issue a statement. More on that later. But the topics of drugs and the investigations that go on here at the airport are pretty much kept under wraps. Las Vegas has a vested interest in people wanting to come here and, and projecting a, a safe and fun and secure environment. Warren Eels situation. often sees a different side of Las Vegas. Why you take my mom's fingers? He's the port director at McCarran International Airport for U.S. Customs and Border Protection. I think that there may be an element that likes to keep that as uh, you know quiet as, as possible or certainly not front page news across the country. Metro police report nine narcotics related arrests from 2013 through mid-April. And while a Metro spokesman says local police are working to revamp how drugs are investigated at the airport, federal agencies tell the I team there's been a significant increase over the past five years in drug smugglers, especially arriving in Las Vegas. But their methods of concealment are getting better, so we have to get better. Michael Harris is an assistant special agent in charge for Homeland Security. They can load up suitcases and purchase a ticket in cash and jump on an airplane and smuggle 50 pounds of cocaine. It's just incredible. You wouldn't have seen it five years ago because of the scrutiny at the airport. Sure, airport security tightened up after 9-11. And both Harris and Eels say law enforcement staffing has increased in recent years. But while at home, Southern Nevada continues to bounce back after the economic downturn. And more people are flying in and out of McCarran again. Well, more drugs are showing up there, too. There are some things with uh, a growing community, you know, a growing airport, a growing international traffic. Uh, you know, it's not 100% uh, you know, roses, you know, there are also some thorns uh, mixed in there that uh, we're going to have to deal with. The estimate, half the drugs arriving are for southern Nevada, and half are just coming through headed to another destination. Harris says agents pay special attention to flights coming in from Mexico since it's a major source for supply, and passengers headed to Australia. A kilo of cocaine in the U.S. is valued at about $20,000, but down under, it's closer to 180000 Vegas seems to be a transit area. Clark County's director of aviation wouldn't sit down for an interview with us, but she released a statement listing several agencies which investigate drugs at McCarran. One concern we heard from law enforcement, catching drug smugglers at McCarran is tricky. Many tourists travel here with a lot of cash, but so do some drug dealers. They're trying to balance uh, facilitating legal travelers and legitimate travelers, which is you know, by and far the vast majority. We want to move them through as quickly as possible to let them start their vacation and you know, get out on uh, the strip and, and have a great time. According to Homeland Security, two Las Vegas women were recently recruited to travel to Australia with surfboards packed with drugs. They made it there, but they were locked up. Now investigators here are working to figure out how these women were recruited. This is one of an estimated five significant cases the agency has investigated so far this year. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. And officials tell us they're finding that the drugs are being transported in checked baggage, carry-ons. Some smugglers are even more daring. They're actually putting the drugs on their body.